witnessing the devastation erupted in a storm of epic proportions. Lightning struck a nearby tree, sending villagers scrambling for cover. As the last raindrop fell, the villagers soaked and weary. Why the sun and the moon live in the sky? Long ago, in the ancient times, when humans with incredible power used to live among regular humans, there lived two siblings called Sun and Moon. Back then, the entire world used to be governed by a singular light source, a soft glow that provided illumination all season long. In this old world, laughter and joy were as common as the vibrant blooms that carpeted the land. However, amidst this joyous chaos lived sun and moon, human siblings who were as different as our present night and day, yet inexorably linked. Sun, a dazzling ball of energy with fiery red eyes, reveled in pranks, often charring roofs with his playful hit blasts. Moon, cloaked in an aura of quiet mystery, possessed an equally unpredictable power, the ability to summon rain, move the oceans and shift magnetic fields. Yet, our downpours often came at inconvenient moments, drenching markets and sending playful animals scurrying for cover. Their sibling rivalry was legendary. Sun, frustrated by Moon's sudden storms, would retaliate with bursts of heat, evaporating precious rainwater. Moon, in turn, would unleash torrential downpours to extinguish Sun's fiery games. The villagers, caught in the crossfire of their squabbles, lived in constant fear of the next scorching heat wave or unexpected flood. One disastrous afternoon, things reached a boiling point. Sun, engrossed in a game of hide and seek, accidentally melted a farmer's plow with a misplaced heat blast. Moon, witnessing the devastation, erupted in a storm of epic proportions. Lightning struck a nearby tree, sending villagers scrambling for cover. As the last raindrop fell, the villagers soaked and weary, confronted the quarreling siblings. The result of their outburst was the loss of many homes to flood and unquenchable fiery blasts. Sun and Moon felt very bad for causing pain to the same people they swore to protect. Several villagers were furious with them, with many humans calling for them to be banished forever. Some even called for their heads. This cannot go on, declared the village elder, his voice booming with exasperation. Your bickering and uncontrollable powers are destroying our village. Sun and moon, faces flushed with shame, looked away. The elder, his voice softening, suggested a solution so outlandish it left them speechless. Perhaps, he said, it's time you lived apart. Sun, his fiery spirits momentarily dampened, looked towards his sister with a flicker of fear. The thought of being alone scared him more than any downpour. Moon, ever cautious, expressed her apprehension at facing the vast darkness by herself. Somehow, they knew that their time together had come to an abrupt end, but they knew it was the best way to protect all humans from a distance without the risk of hurting them. The elder, his eyes twinkling with wisdom, led them to the highest point near the village. With a touch of his staff pulsating with ancient magic, he set stone hurtling into the sky. A fiery blaze erupted, bathing the land in a golden glow. Sun, now a celestial being, hovered above, his mischievous grin replaced by a solemn expression. 
Turning to moon, the elder bestowed upon her a softer luminescence. As she rose into the inky blackness, replacing her brother, a sense of tranquility settled over the village. The land, purged from sun's relentless heat, welcomed the cool touch of moon's gentle rain. The villagers, initially apprehensive, learned to live with the new rhythm. Days were warm and productive under sun's watchful eye. Nights were cool and calming, bathed in moon's soft glow. They finally understood. Though separated, sun and moon brought order and beauty to their lives. Now they were in symbols of chaos, but a delicate balance, a constant reminder that sometimes even siblings need space to find their own light. And so, sun and moon continued to shine brightly, their contrasting personalities forever etched in the vast canvas of the sky. Humans forever grateful for the peace, usually looked up at the celestial siblings and said a quiet prayer of gratitude. The harmony of sun and moon bore testament to the power of separation in fostering harmony. The end. We hope you enjoyed the story you just watched. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video as it helps us create more videos like this for you to enjoy. Thank you.